हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट होम यू आर ट्रेवलिंग योर पेरेंट्स यू आर ओबेइंग देम एंड यू ऑल हैव कंप्लीटेड द एक्टिविटीज दैट वर गिवन द ऑल द असाइनमेंट्स दैट वर गिवन इन योर पेरेंट पोर्टल नाउ टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट एडजेक्टिव्स इंग्लिश ग्रामर ओके adjectives are words that describe us about <clears throat> noun that talks about noun it tells you something more about noun now what is noun you must be knowing in our previous lesson we discussed about noun what are noun noun is a name of a person place animal or thing suppose I say I saw a dog. Now, what picture you all will get in your head? What you all will imagine? What kind of dog is this? Because I have not given you the clear information. The in you have I have not given you the enough information about dog. How is it? So you will not get a clear picture in your head according to your experience. some of you will think the think about spotted dog white dog or a big dog a black color dog a brown dog yes you will say think like that only because i have not given you enough information about the kind of dog that i saw or information about the dog now if i say I saw a black a big black dog now you can imagine clearly now you will get a clear picture of a dog in your head because i gave enough information about the dog dog is an animal and i described the dog as a big black dog so you get the clear picture so this is the word the big and the black these are adjectives these words are known as adjectives because they they are telling more they are giving more information about the noun so adjectives are the words that describe the noun that gives a clear picture of a noun now children you know you have five senses you have eyes for sight you have tongue for taste you have skin to touch and you have ears to hear the sound and you have nose to smell now while describing a noun when you think of these senses the words that you think the, those are adjectives let's take an example of an apple an apple can be round shiny and red in color this is the sight of the apple how the apple looks and if i say the apple is hard slippery then i'm talking about what the touch of the apple how it feels touching the apple the apple is slippery the apple is cold so it describes about the touch of the apple and when i say the apple is sour or sweet what do you understand you get the you get how it tastes so all those words that are used to describe an apple these are adjectives and we are using our senses to describe these words now we will play a game i have white chits for nouns and green chits for adjectives juice building mango boy water knife apple ball milk 
Now, I have green chips for adjectives. Here it is. Tall. It can be tall juice, tall building, tall mango, tall boy, tall water, tall knife, tall apple, tall ball, tall milk. Let's put it here. Tall building. Clean. Clean juice, clean building, clean mango, clean boy, clean water, clean knife, clean apple, clean bowl, clean milk. It may be clean water. Good. Good juice, good building, good mango, good, bo good boy, good knife, good apple, good bowl, good milk. It can be good boy. Sharp. Sharp juice. Sharp building, sharp mango, sharp boy, sharp water, sharp knife, sharp apple, sharp bowl, sharp milk. It can be sharp knife. Red. Red juice, red building, red mango, red boy, red water, red knife, red apple, red bowl, red milk. The most appropriate is red apple. Sweet. Now it can be sweet juice, sweet building, no, sweet mango, yes, it may be it's sweet boy, sweet water, sweet knife, sweet apple, sweet ball, sweet milk. The most appropriate, I think, sweet mango. Cold. Cold juice, yes. Round. Round ball. Hot, hot milk. Okay, so we have found the correct adjectives for these nouns. Cold juice, tall building, sweet mango, good boy, clean water, sharp knife, red apple, round ball, hot milk. There, there may be some other adjectives also. You can find out some more adjectives. This is your assignments. assignment. Find some more adjective for juice, building, mango, boy, water, knife, apple, bowl, milk. Except these. Okay.